Hey everybody, welcome to Cruising with Charles. Today is Monday, June 24th, and today we got several things to talk about. But first, if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe. If you like all things, cruise news, cruise adventures, tips and tricks, this is the place to be. Make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so you can stay updated whenever we put a video out. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about Carnival Glory, Port Everglades, and Comic-Con at Sea. All right, let's get into this. All right, so the first thing we're talking about is the Carnival Glory. She just turned 20. Carnival celebrating the Carnival Glory's 20th anniversary. The Carnival Glory departed on its inaugural cruise on June 14th, 2003, 20 years ago. Currently, the Carnival Glory is sailing out of New Orleans on a seven day cruise to the Caribbean, but it's going to be replaced early 24 by the Carnival Liberty. And the Glory is going to end up moving over to Port Canaveral where it's going to be doing the typical three, four day cruises to the Bahamas. So they're kind of going to start shifting some of the ships around. Have you sailed on the Glory? Did you enjoy it? I personally was scheduled to be on the Carnival Glory April of 2020, but as you know, that never happened. All right, now let's talk about Port Everglades. How many of you have sailed out of Port Everglades? Let us know down in the comments. I haven't sailed out of the Port Everglades in quite a number of years. I do have a cruise coming up in September 30th on the Adventures of the Sea, and I'll be sailing out of Port Everglades. But what's going on with the port? Well, a study was just recently done to see how many tourists are moving in and out of the port. So right now, the estimates for the 2022-2023 season is going to be just over 3 million passengers in and out of the Port Everglades cruise ports. Now, for the 23-24 season, they're estimating more than 3.6 million passengers coming through that cruise port. Definitely tells you, cruising is back. But now let's jump into something really different. Now, I'm sure some of you have seen on social media, the um, Creed is gonna be doing a cruise here soon. You have the Monster of Rock cruises. We've seen all those, but the first ever, the first ever Comic Con The Cruise. The Cruise, that's what they're calling it. Comic Con The Cruise. Now this one is gonna be scheduled for February in 2025, going out of Tampa, heading down to Cozumel, on Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas. Now I'm curious, have you ever been to a Comic Con? I personally never have, because by the time I honestly hear about them, the tickets are usually priced through the roof or the dates just don't work. I've always wanted to go to one. But Comic Con the Cruise, would you go on a cruise for a Comic Con? I'm curious, let me know in the comments. These have been going on since the 70s, and of course it's San Diego based which is surprising that they didn't do a cruise out of the West Coast, that they actually chose Tampa. Entertainment Cruise Productions, who arranged all this with the ship. But again, let us know in the comments if you've ever been to the Comic Con, or if you've been, would be interested in going on a Comic Con, The Cruise. The Cruise. I like the way they came up with that. The Cruise. All right, wrap this up today. I've only got a little over a month and I'm on Navigator of the Seas for four days down to Ensenada, Catalina. Gonna have a good time, relax, have some fun on the ship, play in the casino. Yeah, I'll be in the casino, I'm always in the casino. But until then, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so you get updates when I put out another video. And until next time, I am out of here. Hey, it's cool to see that you're still here after the video. Hey, go check out 
the video I've got over here. Enjoy it. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification. And I'll see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.